Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Join in Flutter's dynamic UI with Django's back end, efficiency is powerful. This tutorial navigates the process of integrating Flutter with Django, facilitating the creation of feature-rich and responsive applications. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in this video, to get started, all we need to do is to actually go ahead and open flutter.dev. So this is the first thing, click on get started, and then click here to choose one of your operating system. So choose either Windows, Mac OS, Linux, or Chrome OS. Let's go with Windows in my case. Go all the way to the, here, download the zip file, and then what you will have to do is to extract it. So as I did here, I extracted it in my desktop, here it is, it should be somewhere here, Flutter, and here it is. So after you do that alone is not really enough. Let me show you why. So let me just delete it. And I will explain to you later on in this video on how, oh my god, 2 GB, this is a lot. Just stop it. All right. So here, I'm going to delete it. And let's see what's going to happen after I delete the whole file. So now, just delete this one, here we go. Uh, it seems like it wouldn't be deleted because I have opened this in my VS Code. But that doesn't matter really. So now, all you need to do also is to download VS Code. So VS Code is basically my EDE, which is basically stands for uh, another term or RFE, which is basically where you write your scripts. So there is a lot of things to use. As you can see, all of these kind of things are basically called uh, IDE. So there is React, there is Eclipse, there is uh, Visual Studio, and there is Visual Studio Code as well, which is including all of them in our software. So now, all you need to do is to go to code.visualstudio.com, click on this link, and simply now you should have this link ready. So click on download for Windows in case you had Windows, in case you had Mac OS, just click on stable or insider for Mac OS or Linux stable or insider depending on which kind of file you want, dep or RPM, and this one is basically a user installer. In case you don't want to do all of that and you want to skip all of the installation process, you can simply open it on your web and it will be something like that. Very easy, very straightforward, nothing that much of complicated. So now as you can see, it is opened in my PC, I have installed it. So we have to do two things. The first thing is to go here and click on extensions and search for the Django. So here I am, install. And basically, this is very important, guys. So here you can find the features. So for example, here there is to go to the finishing in templates, you have to click on control click, CMD plus click on Mac OS or press F12 on the template path in an include or extend tag to jump to this template. So here there is a lot of things that you can, of course, read by your own self. Now let's skip that and let's go and download Flutter as well. So simply click here and search for Flutter and install it as well. Uh, you should also install the dart.dev with it. Uh, so because like basically Flutter only uses Dart language to code. So you need to have the Dart language with it. So this is the two most important things to have or the four most important things to have. So once more, we need Visual Studio Code, Flutter, Django and Dart downloaded. Now let's say that you are done and you have installed them inside of VS Code. What's next? So click here on view. Here we go. And here on the command palette, simply create Flutter new project, application, give it a name. Here we go, Flutter. Select. And here we go. So now I have created it. And simply now all I need to do is to open it. And here we go. So now I have created my Flutter uh, uh, like folder here with all the things that might be needed for my Flutter framework to be working. Now, how can we add uh, like Django with it? So the same thing. Let's go to View, search for Django. Let me just search for it here. Here we go. Here it is, as you can see in front of us. Or you can simply go here, click on Add New Folder folder or let's name it Django and here you can either click here click on your file 
and as you can see here let me just name it Django and as you can see here I can literally keep doing the Django coding in here but of course I have to choose a language so depending on what kind of language you would like to use on Django you simply have to use it here so for example if you want to use for example let's say that you want to use the uh, Python language here simply click a new file and type Django.py and there you go so now we can simply use the Django framework inside of the Flutter framework both in the VS Code Studio. So this is the only way possible to actually use both applications or frameworks at the same time without having any troubleshooting problems or any kind of errors during the process of using both apps. So at the same time you are having it in small uh, like areas you can keep swapping forward and backward but at the same time you can literally just remove and add and keep seeing everything inside of one platform so this is why using this code and like combining all of kind of frameworks that you want to use in one place is very important and very useful and for other people who want to use Django and like Flutter on another framework, well, here it is an article that you can look at later on on Medium. So this is the website medium.com. Just search for full stack with Flutter and Django Rose framework and you will find everything about how to set up a back end, set up front end and how to make an API integration between the two kind of framework. So you can have everything working both in the back end and in the front end at the same time. The we're using Python in this this article, so you can do the same thing. It won't be hard for uh, like at least the ones who have at least basic amounts of experience with coding and developing and programming in general. But for those who has like uh, are new buys and just getting started, well, this article might be a little bit complicated. If you do want me to make like another video about it and explain how you can connect them both using Python, EDE, and in the like shortest simplest way i would love to do that for you so just make sure to leave your comment down below and i will do that for you guys and yeah that was basically it for today's video i tried to make it as simple as i can so once more just to recap download flutter.dev.com from Flutter.dev, you should simply just choose the operation system. One information on one tip that I haven't told you is if you were going to use Flutter in China, well, you should use this website, uh, this note, and read it all because it is completely different than other regions. So you have to read this carefully so you can start working with Flutter in China. Otherwise, you just have to follow my tutorial as it was at the beginning. So install Flutter, install Visual Studio Code, install Django, and go here and install them all and simply just create a folder inside name it Django and give it whatever you want as a script so this is basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you do have any more questions make sure to leave them down below in the comment section thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial